Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I'm just going to be taking you along with me as I get ready. I am about to head to my sister-in-law's house. We are going to have Christmas for the kids and with my mother-in-law. And so uh, my husband actually has already taken my kids there, which is why I am making this video now because it is quiet in my house for once. But I am going to be answering some questions. A couple of weeks ago, I asked on my Facebook and my Instagram if anyone had any questions for me that I could answer that would help to, I don't know, that would help for you to get to know me a little bit better. And so I'm going to be answering those questions as I put my makeup on today. I hope you enjoy. So I'm just going to put my hair back in this little clip. I just dried it, so it is fresh and clean, but um, I'm probably not going to stop and show you every little thing I use, but I will have everything listed below in the description box in case you're curious what I'm using today, but um, I guess we can go ahead and start with the first question. It says, what is your favorite thing about being a mom and what is the hardest thing? So that's kind of a tough one, honestly. Um, my favorite thing about being a mom is probably just how rewarding it is to have them come and snuggle me at the end of the day and just say, I love you mommy and they want to come snuggle me and sit in my lap and be with me that just fills my heart um, and just makes all of those hard moments worth it the hardest thing right now I would say because I'm just right in it right now <laughs> I'm in the heart of the terrible twos and, and the threes and it's just um, it's been really hard and so um, I would probably say just being consistent with discipline and um, just training in general these young kids who are trying to learn right from wrong and I am responsible for that and sometimes it kind of weighs on me more than it probably should and I'm learning to deal with that in a healthy way so that can be pretty hard sometimes but I know that it's going to be worth it. The next question is, how did you and your husband meet? So, uh, we met at church, and um, it's actually kind of a funny story. I was dating someone else at the time that I met my husband, and so out of respect for that person, I just never really talked to him. Um, we served together um, in the youth group. We were both um, older teens, probably about 18, uh, 17, around that age. And um, once I ended the previous relationship, um, I just kind of grew a friendship with him and we bonded over the fact that we were both on the worship team and we built our friendship and then we started dating and we actually only dated for four months before we got engaged. Things kind of moved quickly, but I always say when you know, you know. So, um, yeah, we've been married for seven and a half years now. Um, the next question, speaking of my husband, is from him, and it says, why don't you scratch my back? Probably because you don't scratch mine. <laughs> I love you, though. <laughs> okay, so the next question, do you, do you still love to sing? I do. I love to sing. I walk around my house singing all the time, and um, I'm actually still on the worship team with my husband at our church. Um, we lead... You, now, um, due to the pandemic, one of us stays home with our children, so the other will go to church and we rotate weeks, um, but yes, I do still love to sing. That's Besides YouTube and crochet, that is the um, other hobby of mine, and it's just always been one of my favorite things to do. 
Um, next question, where are you from? I am from a small town in Kentucky. Um, well, small-ish, I guess. Um, and it's about an hour from Nashville. I have lived here most of my life, um, with the exception of living in Germany when I was about two months old to about two years old, so I honestly don't remember it. Um, so yeah, I've lived here my whole life. The next question is, what goals and dreams do you have for the future? Um, that's kind of hard for me, honestly. Um, I'm not a huge dreamer. I've never really been one to be interested in, um, I don't know, just achieving huge things. Um, my goals, for as long as I can remember, were um, to be a mom and a wife and so that's what I'm, I get to do now and, I, and I, I love it. I love getting to stay home with my babies and to be the one to raise them. Um, that's just something that I have always personally um, put value in and um, I hope to homeschool my kids as they get older and just to be the best homeschool mom that I can be. And honestly, I have thought about being maybe like a lactation consultant. That's probably probably the craziest dream I've had. Um, but of course, my first goal is to be a mom. So that would be, if I ever did that, that would be after my kids were grown. <laughs> Okay, so the next question says, what is the biggest thing that you want people to take away from watching your videos? Um, the biggest thing that I really want to share is, um, honestly, my love for Jesus. I would love to um, be a light to those who watch my videos um, right now, especially because it is such a dark and scary time in the world. I just want to share the hope that I feel and, um, also some of my passions. Um, I love my mom and, um, I don't say this out of disrespect at all, but I wasn't taught um, the value in keeping a home and that is something that I value now as uh, a mom and a wife and so I want to be able to share that with others and also just um, to let people know that you have a friend here on my channel that I am someone who is seeking friendship with other people um, who are in the same stages in life as I am, and even those who may not be in the same stage, but who also have the same values and goals as I do. And so it's been such an amazing experience just getting to know other women and um, making some amazing friendships. I never ever would have dreamed that I would have friends on YouTube that are just quickly turning into some of the best friends that I've ever had. So thank you to all of you so much for giving me that. Okay, the next question says, do you plan on having any more children? <laughs> and to that, I would say um, I am open to having more babies. I actually love being pregnant. Um, it's some of the best moments that I've had in my life. And um, I would love to have more children, <laughs> but you would have to ask my husband about that. He is not as open as I am, especially right now since we do have, oh, we do have a three and almost two year old. So, my answer is yes, but my husband may have different opinions on that. 
The next question says, what is your dream vacation? And the first thing that comes to mind when I hear that question is, um, I've always wanted to go to Italy. It's just always been something that I have always wanted to do. And uh, I would love to go and tour and just see everything and experience that culture. I think the, ling the language is so beautiful and I'd love to go there. But when I think of vacation, I think of like somewhere on a sunny beach with crystal blue water just soaking up the sun so either one of those those would be my dream vacations the next question says what is your favorite book to read for fun and <laughs> i'm actually not much of a reader um i i don't know the thought of reading is not super appealing to me but when i start to read a book i don't want to put it down it's weird um but <laughs> I would say the last book that I read for fun was Midnight Sun from the Twilight series. <laughs> um, I think they're so sweet and romantic and um, it brings back all the feelings that I had reading them in high school. So um, yeah, that's the last book that I enjoyed reading. Okay, next question says, who are your favorite big YouTubers who inspired you to start a channel? Um, so the very first person I ever saw cleaning on YouTube is Caitlin from the Simply Organized Home. And um, she is actually a friend of a friend's. And um, I w I'm always so inspired by her videos. She also has a blog and she is a very talented and gifted writer as well. Um, but she places value in living a simple life and um, she has more of the minimalist spin on things and it's really inspiring to me. I would love to... Um, live life the way that she does. I think she's so inspiring and her home is beautiful and she is incredibly sweet. So definitely Caitlin from the Simply Organized Home. And um, right now I love watching Love Meg and Caitlin Cash. They are two of my favorite big YouTubers. I think they're so inspiring and beautiful and they just have a gorgeous homes. So those are my favorite big YouTubers right now. Okay, the next question says, what is your love language? Um, I would say my love language is um, words of affirmation. And right next to that is physical touch. I am such a cuddler. <laughs> but the thing that I um, love the most, the thing that makes me feel loved the most is words of affirmation. So when someone tells me, I don't know, like you are so pretty or <laughs> um you did a great job on this or anything like that any kind of compliments that make it makes me feel so loved and valued and so um those definitely are my love language the last question i have is what is your favorite song and um, no that wasn't too many questions my friend sarah beth vlogs um, I loved all your questions, so thank you so much for putting in the time to ask me those. But, um, what is my favorite song? That is something that changes constantly, for real. Like, I have so many, uh, songs that when they come on, I'm like, oh, I love this song. <laughs> but the very first one that comes to mind is Two Places by Tori Kelly. Um, because it just kind of speaks to the um, feelings of anxiety that I've had over the year and the last couple of years as a new mom. And so um, it's very emotional. <laughs> but I'm such a huge Tori Kelly fan. If you have not heard of her, go check her out. She is incredible. Um, but really any song by Tori Kelly is my favorite. I am going to finish getting ready and then I will show you the finished look.
Okay, so I am back and I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for hanging out with me and for asking these questions and for getting to know me a little bit better. If you have any other questions for me, I would love to hang out with you some more and answer those for you down in the comments below. So just leave a comment and chat with me. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. I make homemaking and cleaning motivation videos every Monday and Friday, and I am just so excited for you to join my family. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and join this little family of mine. I hope that you all have a very Merry Christmas. God bless you. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, friends. Skip the small talk, cause you know me, yeah, you know me.